in this video let us look at the measurable properties of gases the measurable physical properties of any substance are called as parameters so this is another name given for properties of gases now as we have discussed earlier gases come under the one of the states of matter so gases have low intermolecular forces they have large spaces between them due to which they have certain properties so since gases are also considered to be matter they'll have mass because their particles have some mass so the matter gaseous matter also will have mass and they occupy a lot of space since the intermolecular forces are low they are freely scattered and occupy as much volume as it is available and the particles of gas they hit the walls of the container and they hit with each other to exert the pressure also and gases will possess certain temperature because gas particles as they move with some energy and they hit with each other their kinetic energy increases ultimately the energy also increases these are the various properties exhibited by the gases let us look at them one after the other so the first one is mass mass has the dimensional formula of capital m dimensional formula of mass is capital m now mass and weight both are not same mass is different from different different from weight suppose if i say 1 gram of mass 1 gram mass of carbon that means there are certain fixed number of particles that whose mass is equal to 1 gram what about weight if i say 1 gram weight of carbon that means the there are certain fixed particles of carbon whose mass is less than 1 grams but whose weight is equal to 1 kg because weight formula is equal to mass into gravitational force or gravity weight of a substance can vary with the increase or decrease in the gravitational force of the area but mass will always remains constant mass does not change with the gravity if i say 1 gram of a substance that that mass will remain constant even on the earth and even on the moon but if i say weight weight will be more on the earth earth because the gravitational force is large but on the moon the weight is very less that's why things float on the moon so this is the major difference between weight and mass the units the units with which we can measure or represent the mass is grams in cgs unit and kg or kilograms in si unit or mks unit so when i say mass of 6.023 into 10 power 23 particles that means this is equal to 1 mole so mass of 1 mole of any substance will be equal to the molar mass the mass possessed by 1 mole of particles is equal to molar mass so we can relate the mass by molar mass with number of moles where small n is number of moles equal to given mass by molar mass of a substance this is about mass second parameter is the volume the dimensional formula for volume is capital v volume is nothing but the space occupied by any substance especially if we consider gases the intermolecular forces are very weak the spaces between them is very large so they move randomly in all directions possible and occupy how much ever space is available that space occupied by the gases is said to be the volume now volume units are liter centimeter cube or ml meter cube decimeter cube these are the various units of volume so we can see the interconversion 1 liter is 10 par 3 cc or 10 par 3 ml which can be equated to 10 par minus 3 meter cube or 
1 decimeter cube. Deci is 0 0.1. Similarly, 1 meter cube is 10 power 3 liter or 10 power 6 ml. This is the interconversion between various units of volume. Now, when we say 1 mole of a gas, 1 mole of gas in the sense 6.023 into 10 power 23 particles of gas at standard temperature and pressure that is 273 Kelvin and 1 bar pressure occupies 22.4 liters of volume. This volume occupied by 1 mole of any gas at STP conditions is called gram molar volume. This is the gram molar volume. Third parameter is the most important parameter of specially gases that is pressure represented by the symbol capital P. So pressure of a gas can be measured by manometer instrument and pressure of atmosphere that is atmospheric pressure above the sea level is measured by an instrument called barometer. Now what is pressure? Pressure is nothing but the force per unit area. If we take a gas in a container which is closed, the gas particles as they move randomly in all directions, they hit with the walls of the container or they can hit with the particles of other gases. During this process, they undergo collisions which applies pressure on the particle or on the walls per unit area which causes the pressure inside the gas. Now this pressure exerted by the gas in the liquid column present in the manometer will measure the pressure of a gas which is equal to HDG. H is the height of the column, D is the density, height of the column, mercury column, D is the density and G is the gravity of the earth. Now the common unit that we can use to measure the pressure is atmospheres or bar or mm of Hg. So one atmosphere is equal to 76 centimeters of mercury or 760 mm of mercury or 760 tor. All these values are equal to 1 atmosphere. Now 1 bar is equal to 10 power 6 dyne per centimeter square or 10 power 5 pascal or 0 0.987 atmospheres. Dyne per centimeter square is the CGS unit and Newton per meter square is the SI unit. Newton per meter square is the SI unit. Where 1 Pascal is equal to 1 Newton per meter square which is equal to 1 kg meter inverse second inverse. These values or conversions are very important during the calculations. So these are the various units of pressure and their relations. The fourth parameter is the temperature. Temperature is nothing but the heat possessed by the particles of the substance is represented in terms of temperature. So this temperature capital T, the temperature SI unit is Kelvin scale and CGS unit is degrees centigrade. So absolute zero temperature is nothing but minus 273 degrees centigrade, 273.15 degrees centigrade. So we can convert the temperature from Kelvin scale into degrees centigrade into Kelvin scale by adding 273 value to the degrees centigrade. So the temperature of a gas expressed in absolute scale Kelvin or we can express in the degree centigrade also. These are the various 
measurable properties of gases